Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about Active Directory Federation Service or ADFS. In the last video, we talked about authentication flow in ADFS. We discussed what is active and passive authentication and how these authentications work. In this particular video, I will be discussing ADFS proxy service. I will be discussing what is ADFS proxy server. What are the prerequisites that need to be met before you install ADFS proxy server? And then I will be demonstrating you how we can deploy and configure ADFS proxy server. So let's understand what is ADFS proxy server and why do we need it? When we install ADFS server, we do not expose it to the internet. That means this ADFS server always sit behind the firewall. And the reason is if we expose our ADFS server to the internet, then anyone from the external network can access this ADFS server and can get access to the internal network. And this is going to be a big threat to the organization security. So this is the reason we always install ADFS server within internal network. But what if an external user wants to access an application that is integrated with ADFS? Or let's say a user from the same organization is trying to access an application from the external network. So how these requests will be handled by the ADFS server? And the answer is ADFS proxy server. ADFS proxy server is also called Federation proxy server, remote access role, or web application proxy server. ADFS proxy server is always deployed on perimeter network or DMZ network. This network is not part of the same network segment that ADFS server is using. The purpose of ADFS proxy server is to receive and forward the request to the ADFS server. ADFS proxy server doesn't issue a token. Its function is just to listen to the external request and forward those requests to the ADFS server. Then ADFS server contacts Active Directory for the authentication and it issues the token to the client machine. If you go to ADFS server management console, and if you navigate to endpoints, you will see proxy enabled properties for all the endpoints. If this property is set to true, that means these endpoints are enabled on the ADFS proxy server. So if any external request is coming from the web browser, that request will be received by the ADFS proxy server and will be forwarded to the ADFS server. So this is what ADFS proxy server does. Few important points that you should be aware of about ADFS proxy server are, it reduces the security risk to the ADFS server. You do not have to expose your ADFS server to the internet. ADFS proxy server doesn't issue tokens. ADFS proxy server doesn't authenticate the users. ADFS proxy server is always deployed on the perimeter network. The role of ADFS proxy server is to receive external requests and to forward those requests to the ADFS server. It helps ADFS server to identify which request is coming from the internal network and which request is coming from the external network. And by deploying ADFS proxy server, we can enable MFA for external users. Now let's talk about the prerequisites that need to be met before we deploy ADFS proxy server. You can install ADFS proxy service on Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, 2016, and 2019. Port 443 should be opened between ADFS server and the machine on which you are going to install ADFS proxy service. You need an SSL certificate to install ADFS proxy service. You can use the same SSL certificate that you are already using on the ADFS servers. 
ADFS server should be reachable from the machine on which you are planning to deploy ADFS proxy service. And you would require local administrator credentials of the server. So first, let me show you how to export the SSL certificate from the ADFS server. And then we will use the same certificate for the installation of ADFS proxy server. We will go to service communication certificate on the ADFS server. Go to details and click copy to file. Click next. Click yes, export the private key. Next, click next. And here, type a password. Click next. And here you can browse to the location where you want to save this certificate. And I'm going to save this on desktop with ADFS proxy cert name. Click save, next, finish. Click OK and close this window. Now what we need to do, we will copy this certificate and we will paste this certificate on the server where we want to deploy ADFS proxy server role. So this is the server where I'm going to deploy ADFS proxy role. Let me paste this certificate on this particular server. And this machine is not a domain joint machine. It's a work group. And this is Windows Server 2016 data center. I'm going to install ADFS proxy role on this particular server. So once you have pasted this certificate, double click on the certificate, select local machine, click next, click next. Here, type the password, next, and select automatically select the certificate store based on the type of certificate. Click next, finish. That's it. Now we can use this certificate for the installation of ADFS proxy role. Now the next thing that you need to check is whether this machine can reach the ADFS server. And for that, we will go to command prompt and ping the fully qualified domain name or the FQDN of the ADFS server. For my case, it is adfs.office365concepts.com. This machine will not be able to reach to my ADFS server because this machine is not a domain joint machine. Now, how we are going to achieve this? We will make an entry within the host file. If you want to access the host file, you can go to the C drive, then go to Windows, System32, Drivers, etc, and here is the host file. Open this file with Notepad. You can use WordPad or Word as well. And within the host file, we will make an entry. And that will be the IP address of the ADFS server. And then the fully qualified domain name or the FQDN of the ADFS machine. That is office adfs.office365concepts.com. Save this file, close, close this as well, and let's try to ping it again. So now you can see this machine can reach the ADFS server. Make sure you are pinging the FQDN, not the IP address of the ADFS server. This machine should reach the FQDN of the ADFS server. Only then you will be able to install ADFS proxy role on this particular server. Else, while installation, you will come across an error. So now we have met the prerequisites. We have this certificate that we can use for the installation, and this server can reach the ADFS server as well. So now we are good to go, and we can install the ADFS proxy role on this particular server. We will go to Server Manager, click Add Roles and Features, click next, next, click next. Here we will select remote access because this is the role for the web application proxy or the ADFS proxy. Click next, no changes required here. 
next, next. Here we will select web application proxy and then we will click add features. Click next and click install. So this will install the web application proxy role on this particular server. And once this role is installed, after that we will configure this server as ADFS proxy server. So let's wait for a couple of minutes and once it is completed, then we will configure this server. So this role is installed now and to configure this server as a web application proxy or ADFS proxy, we will click on this link. Open the web application proxy wizard. Click on this and this will open another wizard. Click on next. Now here we will type the federation service name of your ADFS server. For my case, it is adfs.office365concepts.com. And these are the credentials of the local administrator of this particular server. Click next. Here we will select the certificate. Click next and click configure. So the web application proxy has been configured successfully. Click close and now this will automatically open remote access management console from where you can manage your proxy server. I already have one relying party trust created for portal.office.com. So this particular relying party trust is already configured on this particular web application proxy server or on ADFS proxy server. If in case the line party trust is not configured automatically, you can configure it manually as well. You can click on publish. Now what exactly it does? If you have a line party trust, let's say you have a line party for Office 365. When external user will try to access Office 365 application or portal.office.com from external network, that request will go to your ADFS proxy server not to ADFS server. So the proxy server should have the relying party trust published on this particular server so that the users from the external network can reach to those applications. So to publish a particular relying party trust on proxy server, you will click on publish, click next, click pass through, next. And here you will type a name, for example, test, application external url will be the reachable url the external url for the application for example login dot microsoft online dot com then you need to select the certificate that will be used for the communication and then you can click next and click publish this particular relying party trust will be published on this particular server so this is how you can configure the ADFS proxy server. If you want to check the status of the proxy server, you can go to operation status. And here you can see ADFS proxy is working, web application proxy working, ADFS proxy working, web application proxy core is working. So ADFS proxy server is working properly. So thank you for being part of this entire series. If you have learned something new from these videos, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. And please do share these videos within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.